Tonight's steam profile oversees it all when it comes to construction. He took me on a tour recently to check out the engineering and math involved in being a contractor. Take a look. The climbing, the sawing, the supervising, the double checking, all in a day's work. For Raul Alvarez of Carib Construction. To another race, another challenge, let's go. Raul is a contractor. We're creating buildings, houses. The contractor is pretty much the, uh, the boss. The room have the closet on that side. On this project, Raul and his team are converting an old apartment building into state-of-the-art affordable housing units. We are working with uh, very tiny spaces where we don't have a lot of room. Seven inches. So every inch, every quarter of an inch, every tiny bit of wall is very important. And right now the framing is up. Yeah, yeah, the frame is up. I caught up with Raul on one of his other projects, a home addition in San Gabriel. You can see here they have numbers. Um, so it's very simple. It looks very complicated. Yeah. A lot of numbers, a lot of lines. Contractors rely most on math and a lot of engineering. If you have a heavy roof or you have a building that two stories, three stories. We got to make sure the walls and the floors support the uh, load above it. For that to happen, the contractor must build, bring to life plans created by architects and engineers. Up here we have the two windows. Sometimes you get this big roll of plans and you don't even know where to start. To become a contractor, you have to be licensed, which means so we got to know a little bit of everything. You know, we are the know-it-all of the trade. They also need the ability to find even the smallest defects. Just a quarter of an inch, just a little eighth of an inch can be a problem. Biggest challenge right now, hiring. We need plumbers, we need electricians, we need carpenters, we need finishers. With more job offers than he can tackle, Raul says there's plenty of opportunity for aspiring builders. His advice for anyone who wants to try? You can always start as a helper, uh, as an apprentice, and, and then go up to be the, 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 the owner of the company one day. And for more information on STEAM careers, go to kcalnews.com slash STEAM. Right. Evelyn, thank you so much. I learned so much. Me about too. Con, right? Yeah. Huh.